Hi everybody, for this project we're going to be focusing on a new art form called tessellations. Um, this art is related to pattern, it's related to geometry, um, in that it's a little bit mathematical and how you're going to create it, um, even a little bit similar to the perspective uh, method. So what a tessellation is. Um, a tessellation is a repeating pattern that can go on forever and ever. Um, you would see these in many different cultures, artwork, um, especially Mediterranean, um, like in uh, many tiled floors, um, Islamic art, um, and some, uh, some Mexican art as well. Um, so what I've done here is basically I have taken a sticky note. You can also just use a square piece of paper if you cut it down, just make sure that it's square. You're going to need tape, you're going to need scissors, and that is it. So um, what you're going to do is you're going to cut something basically out of uh, one side of this um, or more. We'll look at a couple of different ways. Um, and then you're going to glue it right down onto the bottom. So here I have one side. I have the other side. I have flipped them and we can see I have this gorgeous cat. It's going to, um, if you notice the way that it uh, has the cutouts, it's going to fit um, together forever and ever and ever. We're gonna look at a couple different ways to do this again. So um, let's go ahead, let's get to the video. I'm gonna also show a couple different examples of tessellations in art so that you can become more familiar with it and plan out what you wanna do uh, for this project. So this is a tessellation by MC Escher. Notice the different color lizards and how they all fit together. This one is a tessellation featuring the same shape with different colors inside, as well as this one right here. This last one is a tessellation showing you the architecture style in Seville, Spain. This first diagram is going to be how I'm showing you and what you basically do is you take whatever you cut out of one side and you put it on the other side. This other way is uh, another way to make a tessellation and basically what you do is you rotate it to the next side rather than the opposite side so you go in a circle that way. So the basic rule of tessellations is that whatever happens to one side, you're going to flip it and put it on the other side. What I suggest to you is that basically focus on one side and leave the back side to just be what it ends up being when you cut it out. Um, it doesn't necessarily matter. As long as you get what you're going for on the front side, the rest will illustrate itself and work out totally fine for you. What I'm doing after that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to map it out on my paper. Now, if you have a desired uh, setting for any of them, I would start with that. I just started in the center of my paper because I figured um, that would work fine for me. Coloring in however you would like. I used watercolor, which is actually um, a little bit of a fluid media. It's hard to get exact specific lines, um, so my drawing is very symmetrical and everything, but my actual painting of it um, is a little bit sporadic. I would suggest um, colored pencils will give you much more control um, if that's something that you're looking for, like a completely organized drawing in the end. Um, or as well as crayons, any other dry media would work well, um, though paint also works fine.